Why hello, how are you doing? I'm doing super fantastic. Today's video is very special because we have a package here. Inside this package we have Pro Series Beyblade, yes! So this is the first time for me seeing these Pro Series Beyblade and some of you might be wondering how I got these because in Japan we don't really have access to these Pro Series Beyblade. Well, that's kind of an exciting story. So the other day I was doing a live session and we were doing like a brief review for Zestakiris and then Zanki joined. That's when Zanki asked me if I wanted to try Pro Series Beyblade. I was so happy, of course I said yes. And just like that, here we are now. So this is all thanks to Zanki. Thank you so much, Zanki. I've always wanted to try Pro Series Beyblade. I mean, I've heard many opinions regarding the Hasbro base, but I've heard that Pro Series Beyblade are really close to the ones from Takara Tomi. So in today's video, I wanted to review these two Pro Series Beyblade and compare these Beyblade with the Takara Tomi ones and share some opinions from my point of view. Let's get right into it. So here's the package, and this is all new to me. The package is so different from the ones from Takara Tomi. And I think the fact that you can purchase Prime Apocalypse like this on its own is truly awesome because in Japan you have to buy the Mugen Lock special set that comes with Regalia Genesis. Well, since I'm a huge fan of Regalia Genesis, I'm happy with it, but that could be expensive. So this booster really offers a good deal, I think. And the impression that I get from seeing this image on the package is very different from the ones from Takara Tomi. I mean, for Master Diabolos too. And this is also interesting because the name is different. I am aware that many Beyblades have different names when they're created by Hasbro. But Prime Apocalypse is the same, Master Diabolos is Master Devolos. And I also like watching these, what do you call them, like graphs that represent like the power, attack, burst, defense and everything like that. We don't have that in the Takaratomi package, so this is also fun to watch. And speaking of Master Devolos, the stock combo is different. I mean, to be honest, it would have been nice to have the Generate Driver. Here I have the Master Diabolos from a random booster, the black version plus the Generate Driver. But I think that the fact that we have Zeta Driver is interesting because this driver initially came with Sprig and Requiem, which was also dual spin. So it's kind of nostalgic. And I think that the color is slightly different from the one from Sprig and Requiem. And if we count the turn frame, this bay has 12 modes, which is pretty good. I mean, it would be harsh to compare it with Zesta Kitties, which has 48 modes, but it's always fun to have different modes so that you have more options during battles. And I think that the turn frame is an interesting frame. I think it was included in the Chozy Bay Dead Hades, I think. So this is cool. And I'm also happy for the 12 disc because I actually didn't have one. The other day I made some videos. One was for the Wind Knight prototype using the Air Knight. Also another video for a Holo Death Sizer. For both of these combos, I used the 00, double zero disc. But to be honest, I wanted to use the 12 disc. So now I have it. I think it's time to change the combos for this space. And as for Prime Apocalypse, the combo is the same. I mean, it's hard to tell the difference since my Takaratomi one has no stickers and it's kind of damaged. Now I can distinguish them and the metal from the Hasbro one is shiny. But apart from that, they look quite identical. I'm curious about their weight. So the Takaratomi one is 61 grams and the Hasbro one is... Oh, it's 59.6, something like that, around 60 grams. So the Hasbro one is a bit lighter. Interesting. So they're not exactly the same. I'm curious to see how they performed. In today's video, we'll do some test battles using Master Devolos in its stock combo and this Prime Apocalypse. But Ultimate Reboot Dash is a super fun driver to play with. I think the color for this plastic here, for the driver, is different. The Takaratomi one's darker. And as for the launcher, well, um, <laughs> I have nothing to say, but um, I don't know. This ripcord thing kind of reminds me of the launchers from the Metal Fight series. But this launcher is cute, and uh, I like black and white. Very simple. These two bays don't have many stickers, but I noticed that the stickers from Takaratomi sticks better than the one from Hasbro. I don't know why, but if you want to keep the stickers, you should maybe 
try nail polish. I do that sometimes when I really want to keep the stickers in a good condition. Oh, and another interesting thing was when I opened the package, I was surprised that I saw the disc and the driver like fall off from the box. They weren't in plastic bags. I mean, that's good for the environment and we have this like paper protecting the layer and uh, it's, it's really fun to see these differences. So I truly enjoyed unboxing these bays. Also, there's a Big Bang armor from Big Bang Genesis. And this armor can be applied to Prime Apocalypse, so this completes Apocalypse. And I'm curious if this can be used on the Hasbro version. And, ooh, good news, it works. So we have an upgraded Mugen Lock, Infinite Lock gimmick. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Well, thank you again, Zanki. I'm really having a great time. Okay, let's move on to the battles. Are you guys ready? I usually say 3, 2, 1, go shoot, but today I'm going to say 3, 2, 1, let it rip! <laughs> 